Hey everybody, I'm Tara Gore with MLB.com, and we are kicking off the World Series in a wonderful fashion, and we're joined by Philip Phillips. Uh, what up? How you doing? We are actually warming up, I should say. <laughs> Not just for the World Series, but we're literally warming up this dugout for the players tonight. That heat in here, which is it's pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know. It's awesome. I think that uh, I think we have something to strive for now in life, like our little our own little heated dugout. I'm gonna try to sneak in here, you know, and try to get a jersey, just sneak in here, just sitting here, just watching the game, you know. And hope that they probably don't call you into pitch. I hope not. I haven't thrown a baseball in years, so that would not be pretty. <laughs> well, even though you haven't thrown a baseball in years, you've had a really baseball-filled year this year. We saw you at All-Star Game. Um, your song Home was played in uh, The Trouble with the Curve, and now tonight you're singing the national anthem. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, it's been, the whole year has been you know, overwhelming. It's been insane, and it's been a great ride and uh, just a blessing. And tonight it's an honor, you know, to to do the, the national anthem. I'm a little scared, but uh, I'm going to do my best. Well, it's it's such a beautiful park, and they're having a flyover, and the game's dedicated to community initiatives. So how does it feel just to be a part of something so crazy? It's 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 amazing, you know, you know, for cancer. I've been playing a lot of, you know, shows supporting, you know, breast cancer and, and just cancer in general. So, uh, you know, anytime I can support that or anything, you know, that'll help someone out and and you know you get to you get to watch a great ball game. It's the two best teams in the, in the league right now, so that's awesome. And how do you prepare for the anthem? It's it's kind of a hard song to sing, and I know that it's you know you've got a huge, huge different type of audience than you're used to performing with. Before. Yeah, no, exactly. I I don't know how I'm going to prepare for it. I'm just going to try to just go out there and do it. I'd rather hopefully I just you know I'd rather sing it bad than forget any words. You know I know the words, but you know you get in the moment. You don't know what happened, so hopefully I'll just sing it bad more than anything. <laughs> no. And I think that the fans here are pretty understanding. Like, everybody just gets excited to have, you know, it's not only the World Series, but they get to see one of their favorite musicians come out and do something, you know, they normally don't get to see. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, you get to, you know, I'll be, I'm, I'm going to do my best tonight. You know, maybe some people will enjoy it, and, you know, you get to see some some great ball players. Have you ever met any of the Giants? I, I met Buster. He's from my hometown, and uh, so that's, that's really, you know, I, I'm rooting for him. You know, he's, he, he's an amazing ball player. His whole family is talented. Well, finally, uh, tell us what you're doing with your music. You've been out on tour, and you have a new album coming out. Yeah, The World from the Side of the Moon comes out November 19th. And uh, I wrote just about everything on the album, and uh, except for, like, two songs. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get it out there and see what people think about it. I'm ready to tell my stories.